So I realized I got my phone turned around because I wanted to hear, I wanted you to hear what this woman said. And this woman is way out of line. I am not so sold on America. You know, I know God blessed America. There may be a lot of people out there that refute that. But remember, I mean, I'm not saying that this is a false flag event, but there ain't nobody that's going to make me feel like that this is something that should come out of anybody's mouth. I realize when murderers kill people, people say things that they should never say. As a matter of fact, there's even a time, a later time, that somebody out there forgives a murderer. But I was listening to this while I was driving down the road, and I want you to hear what this woman says, which at the end of the day, I don't care what you people believe this is uncalled for. Because if this is, a, if this is the case, then I could be praising God that all the wicked will be in the lake of fire one day. I could be talking smack against you. I could be talking smack against you and I'm not doing that. So I'm not thinking that at the end of the day, anybody has a right to say this. So now I'm going to play the video. Bear with me for a second. He posted saying, quote, President Trump is in our thoughts and prayers. This cowardly act today is a very dark moment. We are at a crossroads in America and must do better. And in the low country, South Carolina Representative Nancy Mace spoke with our sister station, Sinclair sister station in Charleston, about the attempt on the former president. Well, I think the entire country and probably the entire world was shocked at what they saw, the images that they saw, blood across Trump's face and his side of his head. I'm praying for the family tonight of the person who was killed at the rally. I'm praying that the other audience member that was injured survives their injuries tonight. And I pray that the shooter that tried to shoot Donald Trump rests in hell. Now that is uncalled for. That's uncalled for to sit here and say that she hopes the shooter rest in hell. I mean, I'm not conformed so much to the point to where, I mean, I realize people deserve what they get at the end of the day. But if I wanted to go around sitting here saying this, the very same thing about Christians, would you think that that's right? To sit here and say, well, I hate to tell you people, you guys deserve hell. Hey everybody, I mean, you may think you deserve hell, and you may deserve hell, but at the end of the day, do you think I'm going to sit here and say, burn in hell? No, I'm not. And neither should anybody else, and it doesn't make a difference if you do try to assassinate the ex-president. That is way uncalled for. I don't care. There ain't nobody going to convince me that America is so much better than the rest of the world. Oh my goodness. I don't know if this guy, hold on brother, I need to move back out. I got a drug coming out. I mean, yeah, I ain't gonna do that, man. Okay, I'm moving back over. Yeah. I think it's uncalled for. Come on, car. Come on. Oh, my goodness. I ain't putting on my brakes, man. I ain't putting on my brakes. I mean, I hope people agree with me out here. I mean, I just got done making a video talking about how when I was in North Carolina back about eight years ago, seven years ago, my truck broke down. The guy that came out and worked on my truck, his brother had just gotten murdered. And I asked him, are you going to forgive the guy? And I started talking, you know, I was trying to help him know that you need to forgive the person. I mean, I realize that we go through this stuff in this society. I just got done making a video of trying to help people with something. Why would I want to sit here? 
man, uh-uh, 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 I can't do that, people. I mean, I don't care if it's the President of the United States, I don't care who it is. I don't think nobody has the right to go and sit here and say, I hope that person burns in hell. As a matter of fact, you don't even know how that woman was before the shooting. She could have been like them people in Hollywood that came out and said the horrible things they said about Donald Trump. Let me ask you, how does Robert De Niro feel right now? Does he have a smile on his face? Should he feel bad? How about some of the people out there that did the, some of the things that they've done? Should they feel bad about how they acted? when he was president. Now a lot of them are, have taken the pill and woken up. Man, this is, this is garbage, man. You know, the, you know, the first thing I almost said when I heard that woman say that I almost said a couple of cuss words and I didn't do it. I didn't do it. And I knew there was something that was trying to help me from not saying a couple of cuss words. That's right. It's, this is a crazy world. I, was, I mean, you have to, you have to, you have to feel sorry. Should I, should I feel that his parents deserve to be in hell because they didn't bring their child up right? Huh? Yeah. I ain't caught up in this garbage out here. Well, I'm done with this video. I just figured I'd point that out that somebody actually sit here and said something that sure does not seem like that any person that had any right frame of mind would sit here and say, and I'm sorry if somebody lost a loved one out there There are people out here that are willing to forgive. Even if somebody does not even show remorse. Can you imagine that there are people out here that have lost family members that have forgiven somebody for murder? And these people actually had a relationship with the murderer afterwards. Yeah. Let me ask you this. What would Mr. Anderson have to say about this? Mr. Anderson, what would you have to say about this, Mr. Anderson? Well, I'm done with this video. I just figured I'd point that out. I'm thinking that nobody out here should try to hope somebody goes to hell. I mean, like I said, did I do things in my life that at one time I would have been deserving of death in the Old Testament times? How many of y'all did things that you would have deserved death in the Old Testament times? And God is gracious enough to forgive. Any, I, I, I don't, man, I, I'm done. I'm done with this video.